Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to MGCW Live right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We're going to start this night off with a Brawl Series match. The opening contest is scheduled for one fall and is a Brawl Series match. First, from Reno, Nevada, weighing in at 222 pounds, Shay Hoxton. Shay Hoxton, a man with a lot on his plate coming up in the next week. At Ultimatum, first of all, he has an NGCW Extreme Championship match against Peraza B. But in the same night, his alignment is on the line. It's a match between Justin Harlan and Jay Vegas. If Jay Vegas wins, Justin Harlan will quit Team Canada. But if Justin Harlan wins, Shea Hoxton must join Team Canada for one month. Shea Hoxton definitely has a lot on the line at Ultimatum, and some of it he can't even control. You gotta believe he's not too happy about that. But he also doesn't seem too worried about it. So we'll see how he does tonight in his Brawl Series match, as well as going into the pay-per-view. And here comes his opponent. And his opponent from Fairfield, Connecticut, weighing in at 288 pounds, Slate! And here comes Slate. Slate, uh, not too old of a dude. He's been around for a while. Finally got a start here in NGCW not long ago. Looking to make the name for himself here tonight in this Brawl Series match. He hasn't been on too much of a streak, but uh, he says tonight he's going to show everyone exactly why he's here. He says he's going to put away the number one contender, Shea Hawkson, for the Extreme Championship. And now here they go. They lock up. The 10-minute time limit has been put up on the board. And these two men, one on one, Shea Hawkson, pretty much had this all for himself in the early going. Nice back suplex there by Shea. Surprising already to see Shea Hawkson in such dominance. I know it's just the beginning, but Slate hasn't even touched him yet. And it's it's surprising because I mean all that Shea Hawkson has to has to look at and everything he has to realize in this in this coming up month, in this month already, and in this coming up week, I should say. It's it's crazy to think that he's oh nice move there by Slate. That's what I'm saying. It's crazy to think that he can even try to stay focused here. Everything that's on the line at ultimatum for him. But hopefully, for Shea Hawkson at least, he'll have a, a good showing at ultimatum and won't have to join Team Canada. Nicely done there by Shea. Russian leg sweep. Shea definitely showing that he has the upper hand in this match. Nice Northern Light suplex there. These fans are, don't sound too happy about that one. Shea just continuing the beat down. Slate looks like he's just taking it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Russian leg sweep by Slate. Putting an end to that little streak there. But no, Shea. Whoa, 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 Shea got him. Nice neck breaker there. Oh, that's not good for Slate. Going for the pin. One, two, no, a kick out. Wait, wait, wait a second. Oh, going for 21. Slate caught. Got him. Shea Hoxton to 21. One, two, and it's over. Shea Hoxton gets the victory over Shea Slate. Hoxton. That was an easy match. Wow. Shea Hoxton with complete dominance there. But the way Slate, like he was nothing. My goodness, that just shows the focus that Shea Hawkson has, knows exactly when to put away his opponent, knows exactly when to put away a Slate tonight at least. We'll see how that transfers over to his match against Fraza B at Ultimatum. Beautiful showing by Shea Hawkson. Not much of a challenge there at all. That's a surprise, ladies and gentlemen. Good job for Shea Hawkson. 
But ladies and gentlemen, we gotta move on to our next match, the rivalry that has been brewing over just simple words and a 100,000 video slap to the face. 100,000 view video slap to the face. We have Jay Vegas and Sirachi going up against each other. And there's the rankings for the Brawl series. And here we go. Sirachi one-on-one -on -one with Jay Vegas. Who's going to get the better of the other after all the words that have been transpired between the two? This contest is scheduled for one fall. First, from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 206 pounds, Jay Vegas. Here comes Jay Vegas. Jay Vegas definitely, he's got a lot on his plate going into Ultimatum as well. His match against Justin Harlan will decide the fate of Shea Hoxton. And you have to believe Jay Vegas obviously doesn't want to let Shea Hoxton down. And he doesn't want to have a loss to Justin Harlan. But at the same time, the, the weight on his shoulders over the stipulation of that match. Jay Hoxton's fate lies in Jay Vegas' hands, and that's got to be stressful for a man like Jay Vegas. But we'll see how he fares tonight, and we'll see how he fares against Justin Harlan then. But tonight, he's got to focus on Sirachi. Speaking of Sirachi, here he comes. And his opponent from Brooklyn, New York. Weighing in at 206 pounds, Surasi! And here comes Surachi. A cloud of smoke to cover him, and here he comes. Surachi definitely has said that he is not all too happy about uh, where he's been lately. He says he feels like he's been in limbo, not really going anywhere. And tonight he wants to put away Jay Vegas and show that he is still a top dog. But if he loses to Jay Vegas, that, that can't be good for his reputation. It can't be good for his standing in anything, title, title pictures or anything else. So he definitely needs a win here tonight against Jay Vegas. But Jay Vegas needs the momentum going into Ultimatum. We'll see who's going to be the one to get it. These fans are ready for this one. And here they go. Not wasting any time, they lock up. Oh, Sirachi twisting the arm. Trying to break the arm of Jay Vegas here. Wait a second. Jay, nicely done. Gets Sirachi off of him. But Sirachi not gonna let him rest. Wait, double underhook. Suplex by Sirachi. Stomping down on Jay Vegas. Oh, and the cockiness, the headlock, headstand. Showing he's got a little bit of something over Jay Vegas here. He's gonna have to do something to... Oh, nice clothesline, takes Sirachi down. Just spun him around, hit him with a big one. But no, wait, Sirachi not gonna let that waiver him. He's got him. Oh, a shoulder breaker. But no, Jay Vegas not gonna let that keep him down. These two men already back and forth here. Sirachi not gonna let Jay Vegas get him. Looks like he's gonna go for a little pullback of his own. Jay Vegas with a reversal for that one. Double reversal there. Now, oh, oh my goodness, the knees to the chest. And one final one to the face. He is trying to wear down Jay Vegas. Jay Vegas is trying to fight him off. Oh, wait up. Picks him up and slams him down. Nice move there, but Sirachi not going to let that stop. A nice Hurricane Rana takes down Jay Vegas. My goodness. This has been very fast paced, very back and forth action here. Already in the early going. They're not wasting any time. Nice running fist. These two men showing their speed. My goodness, nice double knees to Jay Vegas. Jay's down. Going to go for another knee to the face. Yes, he is. Sirachi definitely using those knees here. Oh, nice kick. Takes Jay Vegas down under the ropes. And Sirachi 
Oh, she kind of humiliate Jay Vegas with that one. Jay Vegas, I wouldn't turn around if I were you. Oh, wait a second. Jay, trying to fight it back. No, wait a second. Oh, spinning back fist. Takes Jay Vegas down in one hit. A two count, but that is it. Jay Vegas. Oh, nice head scissors takedown. Sirachi not to let him get the upper hand. Nice job right over there. Sirachi's trying to keep Jay Vegas down long enough. Now, wait a second, Sirachi. Sirachi. Skyfall coming up. Got him. Down goes Jay Vegas. The pin hooks the leg. One, two, and Sirachi gets the pin over Jay Vegas. Sirachi. And that can't be good for Jay Vegas' momentum going into ultimatum. At the same time, though, Sirachi's showing he is not quite down yet. He is still a top guy here in this company. One finisher, one skyfall, one, two, three, Shirachi with the victory. Beautifully done. Definitely a force to be reckoned with. Shirachi's coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Watch your backs. This is only the first of many. And up next, another Brawl Series match. Adam Ashes versus Brent Carter. What a fight that is going to be. This contest is scheduled for one fall and is a Brawl Series match. First, from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 224 pounds, Adam Ashes. Adam Ash is so far the only man in the Brawl Series tournament to be undefeated. He's bulldozed his way over everyone else so far. He looks to be the same tonight against Brent Carter. Adam Ash is definitely one of the stronger men in, East, in NGCW. Definitely willing to go through any person. Doesn't matter who it is. Willing to go through anyone to get to the top. He's shown that already in this Brawl Series tournament. He wants another shot at that NGCW World Championship. He wants another shot at Alex Wolf. That's basically what it is. He wants to tear apart Alex Wolf one-on-one. -on -one. In order to get that, he's gonna have to win this series. We'll see if he's able to do that, but here comes his opponent. This man could put a stop to Adam Ashes. And his opponent from Perth, Scotland, weighing in at 251 pounds, Brent Carter. A legit tough guy will not baseball bat. Brent hasn't hasn't shown a lot recently. He's had his fair share of losses. He's had his fair share of wins. But if he can get a victory over Adam Ashes tonight, he's going to show that he deserves some something, something in this company. See if he's able to do that tonight. There we go, the ten minute timer set up on the clock. You no, know Adam Ash is not gonna let Brent Carter get him. Throws him around. Oh, nice insecurity. Takes down Brent Carter. Adam Ash is showing he's got a little bit. A little, little high fly into him. A little quickness. And now, oh my goodness. Gonna wear down the back of Brent Carter and just kicks him down. 
Adam Ash is just wearing down Brent Carter in the early going here. Wait a second. Big brain buster to Brent Carter. Oh, that one had to hurt. And a standing moonsault by Adam Ash is beautifully done for a big man of his size. Oh, both men run for something there. Neither man got it. Brent, oh, Brent going for a submission in the early going, but Adam Ash's foot's clearly on the rope. The referee doesn't see it, though. The ref doesn't see his foot clearly on the rope. Brent Carter able to put, put himself in between. Adam Ash is still on the rope in the ref's vision. The ref should have been more attentive than that. Oh, Brent Carter going to take control. With that submission, he kind of wore down Adam Ash. Adam thought he should have been out of it, but since his foot was on the rope, but since he didn't, Oh, not exactly where he should be right now. Oh, nice DDT by Adam Ashes. And another standing moonsault to Brent Carter. This has been pretty back and forth. Both men have just kind of beat the tar out of each other so far. And a hard Irish whip and a big kick. Takes down Adam Ashes and now Brent Carter just beating him down. But Adam Ash is looking to turn the tide here. No! Oh, sent to the outside by Brent Carter. And Brent's going to follow him. And ladies and gentlemen, this match is now outside here in front of the fans. Now, neck breaker on the outside. My goodness. Everything hurts a lot more when you're outside on these mats. They are not thick mats at all. And Adam Ash just knows that. He wants to get Brent back in the ring. Can't blame him there. You can't win the match outside. You need to be inside. He knows that. Wants to keep Brett Carter in. And he's again gonna go for this move. Stretching him. Trying to put the pain on the lower back. But no, Brett Carter not gonna let him get it. He just keeps reversing him. Keeps attacking him. And an uppercut. Brent Carter doing a lot better than I thought. Oh, wait a second. Backbreaker into a neckbreaker. Not going to waste any time. Picks him right back up. He got him. He got him. Uh-oh. Brent. One. Two. No. Brent Carter kicks out. And now Adam Ashes. Got to be looking for Ashes to Ashes. Here he goes. Got him. Got him. Adam Ashes to Ashes by Adam Ashes. The pin, one, two, and Adam Ashes gets the victory Adam over Brent Ashes. Carter. Hard fought match. Almost didn't have him. Beautifully done. Brent Carter definitely put up a fight in this one. That was close, but Adam Ashes remains undefeated in the Brawl series. Number one ranked man. This is a legit tough guy. We move on. Up next, another Brawl Series match. Raza B, the extreme champion, goes one on one with Lucifer Thor. This contest is scheduled for one fall and is a Brawl Series match. First, from Glasgow, Scotland, weighing in at 200 pounds, your NGCW Extreme Champion, Fraza B. And here comes Fraza B, the NGCW Extreme Champion. He earned that belt and he looks to defend it at Ultimatum against Shea Hawksby. But tonight he's got to focus on the big, bad demon himself, Lucifer Thorne. We'll see who gets the better of the other tonight. The Brawl Series match. Raza B is just strange. At the same time, you're kind of frightened of him. Just by his look, by his walk, by his actions, is what he does. Definitely a presence that is felt when you're around Fraza B.
and his opponent from Blackpool, England, weighing in at 299 pounds, Lucifer Four. And here comes Lucifer Thorne, the demon himself. Lucifer Thorne has not has not been the same in a long time. We've seen this man in multiple multiple videos just to me it's just straight torture this man has gone through just to mentally I don't, mentally or physically prepare himself I guess I don't know if you can really call that to me it just seems stupid but to Lucifer Thor he says it strengthens him says it builds him up we're gonna have to show that tonight oh, those flames get you every time my goodness Something just got a little hot in here. Lucifer Thorne not going to waste any time. Goes straight after Frazza. Oh, wait a second. Ooh. Frazza's showing, even though he may be a little smaller than Lucifer, he's not going to let Lucifer's size deter him from doing what he came here to do. And then it gets some momentum in the Brawl Series match as well as his Extreme Championship match at Ultimatum. Again on him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Big Russian leg sweep. Oh, but Fraza B just gonna get right back up. Like nothing even happened. Lucifer, a back suplex. Still trying to keep him down. That did it. No, it didn't. Fraza B right back up. Lucifer Thorn. Two big moves in a row. Trying to keep Fraza down. But Fraza with a beautiful belly to belly suplex. Kicks down Lucifer Thorn. Slamming his head into the mat. My goodness, Lucifer has already done some pretty big moves to Fraza here, but Fraza's not showing anything of it. He just keeps fighting back. Oh, nice elbow to the face to Lucifer Thorne. Oh, and now just a systematic beatdown on each extremity, on every part of Lucifer's body. The arms, the legs, the body, the face to finish it off. Wait, oh, Lucifer Thorne with a rake to the eyes. Come on now. That's uncalled for. There's no need for that. Wait, no. Oh, Braza turning it around with a jawbreaker. Beautifully done. These two are just going back and forth. Nice STO there. Now, wait a second. Wait a second. Cloverleaf. He's got him. Oh, this is a dangerous submission hold. Are we going to see a tap out right here? No, no, Lucifer. He refuses to give in. Lucifer Thorne going to continue. Oh, nice running clothesline. I'm just the elbow trying to wear down Fraza B. Wait, no, Fraza again. Belly to belly suplex. These guys just going back and forth. There's, there's not been a clear dominator in this match. Oh, wait. Oh, Fraza holds on. Does not want to go all the way to the outside. Try to fight him off. Did long enough just to get back in the ring, but Lucifer sends him into that turnbuckle. Down goes Fraza. And maybe the face. Lucifer is hot. Pete down. Fraza, but Fraza just keeps getting up. He won't stay down. A nice drop kick there. Every time Lucifer thinks he does something that might keep Fraza down, Fraza gets right back up and continues his assault. But now, oh, nice stalling suplex the size of Lucifer Thorn compared to Fraza B is already enough. When you lift Fraza B in the air and do a stalling suplex to the man, that can't feel good. Fraza gonna answer with his own snap suplex on Lucifer. Says you can do it, but so can I. Now just continuing to beat him down. Man, Fraza B showing excellent resilience here. But Thorne, ah, Thorne stops him. And a nice knee to the face. Fraza B. Fraza, 
Oh, he's trying to choke the life out of the ref. Come on now. The ref just going to stand there and let it happen. He needs to not let people do that kind of stuff. There's no need for chokes here. And DDT. Raza. Oh, wait a second. Lucifer Thor just says, no, I'm not done. I'm still fighting. It looks like he's going to keep, keep control. Send him in from one corner to the other. A big fall away slam by Lucifer Thorn. And these two just have been back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with each other. You'd think with the size advantage that Lucifer Thorn has, and he might be able to do something. And oh my goodness! Huge spine buster! The Fraza B lifted him up like it was nothing and thrown him down twice as hard. Fraza just keeps fighting. Oh, that just ticked loose for throwing off. Fraza knows he's just got to keep fighting. Wait a second. He's got the arm bar. He's got the arm bar. Going for another submission. Is this going to be the one? Is this going to be the one that Lucifer Thorne taps out to? No. Oh, Lucifer throws him off. He is not done. It's like, oh, reverse suplex. Oh, Fraza B just a beautiful standing drop kick. He refuses to stay down. Neither of, these, neither of these men are willing to stay down. Nice move there. Reversal after reversal. Oh, nice face buster by Fraza B. This is, this is his opening. He needs to take it. DDT to Lucifer Thorne. The pin. A one count, that is it. Lucifer Thorne says he's not nearly ready to give up yet. And now there's Fraza B. Wait, Fraza. Nice move. Going for the pin. The pin. One, two. Oh, so close, but not quite. Slamming his head into the mat. Fraza gonna have to do something here. He's continuing to wear down another choke. Still illegal. Doesn't matter how many times you do it, it is still illegal. Believe it or not. Lucifer Thorne trying to get some type of control here. He knows Fraza's starting to go somewhere. He's starting to get the upper hand and he knows he can't let him do that. Trying to fight him off the knee to the gut. But no, Fraza. Again, another reversal. Lucifer, Thorne, and Fraza B just keep going back and forth. Going for the pin. The pinfall attempt. One. No. A kick out by Lucifer Thorne. A big punch. And oh, punch to the gut. Another big DDT? Yes, another big DDT by Fraza B. Fraza is just trying to pull out all the stops to put away Lucifer Thorne. He wasn't able to capitalize on that DDT. They're both back at the same time. Another diving clothesline. Again, just driving the elbows into the shoulders. Oh, wear down Fraza. Big punch. Oh, my back suplex. Oh, this is the two-minute warning of this match. One of these men needs to put away the other. Or this is going to be a time limit draw. Oh, nice move there. Version of the neck breaker dropping his head on the knee. Lucifer Thorne picks him up. Oh, Wastelander. the two but that is it oh wait both go for the finish at the same time Frazzy got him and looks for taps out 
Crossface Chicken Wing gets in the Here's victory. Sraza B. Finally, that submission, the Crossface Chicken Wing, is what got the job done. Big win for Fraza B. Heading into ultimatum, getting a big win over this giant of a man. And now he can finally set his sights on Shea Hoxton and that extreme championship. He cannot lose focus. Fraza B says, that was all me. I don't need you to raise my hand. I've got this. Celebrate on my own. But he definitely deserves that win. That was hard fought. And the submission is finally what did it. Also again, just pushing the rep out of the way. Rosa wants nothing to do with that referee. But now we move on to our next match. This contest is scheduled for one fall. First, from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 285 pounds, Steven Johnson. Here comes Steven Big Johnson, the number one contender. MGCW World Heavyweight Championship. You can see the cockiness, the walk. He thinks he's ready. He knows he's ready to win that MGCW Championship from Alex Wolf. This man was handpicked by Mr. Eric Pierce to go for that title of Ultimatum. We'll see if he's a disappointing pick or if he shows the world that he is just that much better. And our current champion, Alex Wolf. He looks ready, that's for sure. If there's one man I would bet on taking that title from Alex Wolf, it'd be this man, but at the same time, it's hard to bet against Alex Wolf. And his tag team partners, first. From Troy, New York, weighing in at 186 pounds, Jason Spade. Now his way to the ring, Jason Spade, one half of the team with Jimmy Starr that will go against Team Canada's Chris Proudfoot and Matt Fury for the Tag Team Championships. Jason Spade and Jimmy Starr have been talking a lot of smack about Team Canada saying. They're positive that they're going to take the titles away because, as they say, Team Canada is slowly falling apart. And honestly, there's a lot of evidence to support that. And their partner from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 181 pounds, Jimmy Starr. Jimmy Starr said earlier in the week that Chris Proudfoot was quote unquote the only relevant member of Team Canada saying that his team is strong talking about this three on three six man tag match tonight and Team Canada barely holding itself together and you got Alex Wolf doesn't even care about Team Canada meanwhile you have him and Jason Spade who are, are close-knit team. They have Steven Johnson who honestly he just wants to win. I think that's his only concern. So according to Jason Spade and Jimmy Starr, they have the advantage not only tonight but at ultimatum. They say they have a lot clearer heads going into that match. We'll see if that's the case. I think Chris Proudfoot put aside his little bit of ego that he's got over Team Canada. And their opponents first from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 217 pounds, your NGCW champion, Alex Wolf. And here comes the NGCW 
World Heavyweight Champion. This man has shown in this title run already that he is a force to be reckoned with. At domination, he put away Adam Ashes and Jason Spade to retain that World of Weight title. Tonight he looks to add just another win to this column. Showing why he's a dollar champion. He's already done that. This is just going to be another point for him to prove that he has to rely on Team Canada, Chris Proudfoot, and Matt Fury, who have not been getting along, especially with Chris Proudfoot running his mouth like he has. We'll see how strong Team Canada can stay tonight. And his tag team partners. Here they come, Team Canada. Wait a second. Jimmy Starr and Jason Spade. They don't want to wait for the bell to ring. They want to fight them now. Steven Johnson's on the inside. He's going to come out. Alex Wolf is staying over in his corner. He doesn't have, he doesn't want anything to do with that brawl. Matt Fury going to send Steven Johnson in. It looks like we're going to start this match with Steven Johnson and Chris Proudfoot. Jason Spade threw Matt Fury into the ring and Steven Johnson's going after him. Nice little submission there. He needs to turn his attention to the other member of Team Canada, which he does. There we go. Now Steven's got the right idea. Going after the legal man, Chris Proudfoot. But Chris, that's going to go like suplex. Oh, immediately going to go for the tag. Oh, he's tagging in the champion. Here comes Wolf. This is the match we're going to see at Ultimatum. Alex Wolf and Steven Johnson. Nice bow that was suplex. Just a little taste of what's going to happen. Nice spine buster. Alex Wolf is going to have to do something already. He's letting Steven Johnson show he's got a little bit of dominance. Wait. Oh, nice backbreaker. Alex Wolf saying, trust me, you don't have an edge. I'm better than you, and I'm going to prove it tonight. I'm going to prove it at Ultimatum. Oh, nice moves. Oh, great the arm. Obviously, if he can injure Steven Johnson before the, their match at Ultimatum, he doesn't have much of a threat there in, in Johnson, but I don't think he wants to do that. I don't think Alex Wolf actually wants to injure Steven Johnson. I think he wants to show everyone that he can beat a big man. Steven Johnson always talks about how his size matters and how his strength advantage matters. And he says that he's going to show that to Alex with an ultimatum, but Alex definitely going to need to show that that's not the case. Both men just sending each other back into each other's corners. Alex Wolf going to tag in Chris Proudfoot. Chris. Oh. Uh, Going after that arm there, definitely targeting that arm of Steven Johnson. Take out his arm, he take out a little bit of his strength. Nice standing drop kick. Continuing to work on Steven Johnson. Gotta put away the biggest man in the match. That's goal number one. I hope Steven has to find a way to find out of that. He might want to tag in his partner. That's just a just a hint. Might be doing that here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Drop foot. No. Big boot by Steven Johnson. Went to follow up with the clothesline, but Chris says no. Steven needs to make a tag here. He's got to get his partners in the match. Instead of doing that, it looks like he's going to go for his own move. Does Steven not want to tag in Jason Spade or Jimmy Starr? Is this a pride thing or something? Come on, you need to tag in your partners, man. This isn't smart. It's not smart to take a three-on-three -three tag team match and make it a three-on-one handicap match. And that's what you'll do if you neglect your partners for long enough. Wait! Oh, you're a pin uppercut! Going for the pin! Maybe he doesn't need their help. Oh, no, it's broken up by Alex Wolf. Maybe Steven Johnson doesn't need the help of his partners. Oh, 
Chris with a rake to the eyes. Chris trying to fight him back into his corner, and that's what he's doing. Ah, Steven Johnson not going to let that happen, but Chris, on ice chop block, takes down the big man. Taking out the legs. Again, targeting those legs. There you go. When you take out Steven Johnson's legs, then his height doesn't really matter anymore. Oh, wait. But it got him here anyway. No, oh, nice backbreaker type move. That has to hurt. But Alex Wolf's going to get right back up. Wolf bite. He got the wolf bite. Is that going to be enough to put away Steven Johnson? One, two, no. Jason Spade breaks it up. Hit the wolf bite in the early going there. If he hits the wolf bite at ultimatum, we could very well see him still the NGCW champion. Oh, just humiliating him, kicking me in the face. Going for the pin. Referee was not ready. They got broken up before the one count. Oh, Steven. Nice face buster. Uh, now finally gonna tag in a partner. Here we go. Here comes Jason Spade. Oh, double double drop kick. Alex Wolf hit the double drop kick. Drop kick both Jason Spade and Steven Johnson. Oh, a curve stop. Curve stop. Going for the pin. One. No, a one count. That is it. Jason Spade not done yet. And another wolf bite. Another wolf bite to Jason Spade this time. One. Two. No. 2.9. Jason Spade's back up. This match is not over yet. Going for a triple. German suplex. Two. Three by Jason Spade. And he's signaling. Lands in. Berg. Lobotomy. Up goes Alex. Down goes Alex. The pin. One. Two. On a 2.9 on his end. Alex almost gets pinned. But the match going to continue. What a finish that would have been if Jason Spade would have put away Alex Wolf. Talk about some bragging rights there. Saying about the pin the world champion. Alex, a nice stalling suplex. Alex Wolf trying to reestablish dominance over Jason Spade. Oh, but Jason says no. Jason says, I'm faster than you. I'm going to show it. Nice smack breaker. Jimmy Starr wants the tag, and he's gonna get it. Here comes Starr. And he's gonna try to continue the beat down. No, Alex Wolf. Ah, oh, Chris, Chris Proudfoot grabbing him on a big chop. Chris Proudfoot grabbed Jimmy Starr while he was in the corner, kept him there. And a nice, beautiful power slam. Alex, and he's gonna make a tag really soon to one of his partners. He's been in there long enough. He needs to get out of there. Big scoop slam. And Alex, like that's what he's gonna do. Here comes Matt Fury, the freshest man in the match. Jimmy Starr trying to fight out of the corner. Wait, Jimmy Starr! He got him, LA 101! The pin! One, two, and a 2.9 almost had him! Matt Fury almost got pinned already by Jimmy Starr. Could you imagine how Chris Proudfoot would have responded to that one? Breaker. J. 
Jason Spade gonna come in. Jimmy Star got the tag to him. Now just gonna continue the beatdown. All reversal. No, no. Jason Spade with a reversal of his own. Just trying to keep Matt Fury down. Nice move the line suplex. Holds down the arms. One, two, with Chris Bradford and Alex Wolf breaking up the pin. Jason Spade not gonna let that way with no reverse suplex. DDT by Steven Johnson, the referee, admonishing him, telling him to get out of the ring. That's when he goes, wait a second. Uh oh. Up goes Matt Fury. Down, dropping him on his head. The pin. Chris Proudfoot breaking it up before the one count. And now, for the second time, landing. Bird, lobotomy, got him. He needs to get the pin. He needs to get over there and make the pin. He got it. One, but Chris Proudfoot breaking up the pin again. He doesn't want to see his partner get pinned already in this match. But Matt Fury knows he needs to get out of there. He's going to tag in Chris. Dropped a hole, followed up with an elbow by Chris. Not gonna give Jason Spade any time to rest. Oh, he nailed him! Away from the pin, not even a one count. Not even a one count. And Jason Spade, crucifix pin. One, two. No, Chris kicks out. Chris can't let Jason get any momentum going for the pin. One, no, a one count, that is it. Went for the running kick, got caught. Beautiful suplex. Jason Spade gonna tag in his partner. Here comes Jimmy Stone. Working the leg, just trying to wear down Chris Proudfoot. Nice flapjack there. He's got to get Chris out of his corner. He cannot let Chris tag in any of his partners. Getting him back over to his corner, but Chris fighting out of it. Sends him to the apron. Nice drop kick. Sends Jimmy Star to the outside. And away a second. Alex Wolf making his way over to Jimmy Starr. What is he gonna do? Come on. Oh, okay. That's clean, just throws him in. But wait a second. Ah, oh, Steven Johnson not gonna let him go back to his corner. He wants to fight right here. Submission on the inside. Jimmy Starr can be in trouble. Meanwhile, Steven Johnson and Alex Wolf just keep fighting. Two pieces of action to watch here. But Alex Wolf able to fight Steven Johnson off going back to his corner. Wait, Alex Wolf getting in the ring, what is he doing? He's going after Jimmy Starr. Sends him into his own corner. I guess trying to help out Chris Proudfoot, but Chris not even gonna capitalize. Oh wait, Jimmy Starr, his attention is turned. He's not paying attention to Chris. Chris gonna take advantage of that. I'm just talking trash to him. Now here comes Matt Fury. Gonna go after that arm again. Star realizes he's in trouble. He's, he needs to make a tag. Let's kick to the face. Followed by a face buster. But Jimmy Star needs to tag in a partner. Wait a second. Going for a pinfall. But it's broken up. Not even a one count. Alex Wolf and Chris Proudfoot are making sure no one can get the pin on Matt Fury. Oh, went for the finish. Went for the LA 101. But Matt Fury says no. Jimmy 
Jeffree Star now just trying to fight him. Just trying to keep him down. Going for another pin. One, two, but Chris breaks it up. Chris does not want to see Matt Fury get pinned here. Absolutely not. Back on the by Jimmy Star. Man, what a match this has been so far. These six men are absolutely jacked for their matches at Ultimatum. The tag titles, the MGCW title, all of it is on the line at Ultimatum. The challengers versus the champions. Wait, abdominal stretch. Going for the submission. Is Matt going to tap out? No. Chris Proudfoot breaking it up. Now I'm Matt Fury with a DDT. Fury, wait a second. Signaling. Wait. No way. LA 101 to Jimmy Starr. He hit Jimmy Starr's own finisher on him. One. Two, but no, Steven Johnson breaks it up. Puts him into his corner, trying to give Jimmy Starr a little rest. Jimmy stalling. Suplex to Matt Fury. Fury. Oh no, DDT from the middle rope. Going to make a tag. Here comes the champion, Alex Wolf. Wait a second. A tag. Here comes Jason Spade. Punch to Alex. Knocks Matt Fury and Chris Profit off the apron. And he got him. Lansing Berg lobotomy. He nails it. Going for the pin, but oh, Chris was already in the ring. Broke up the pin immediately. That very well could have been the end of the match. Both of these men wore out. Jason needs to get over there. Oh, wasn't able to capitalize. Both men slowly getting up. Wait a second, here comes Chris Proudfoot. Punch to Jason Spade. Knocks Jimmy Starr and Steven Johnson off the apron. Knee to the face. Held up by a leg drop. My goodness. Chris Proudfoot just beaten down. Jason Spade takes him down again. Hits that knee again on the chest and the face. Followed up by another leg drop. Doing the same thing he just did. Oh, Jason Spade fights out of it. Jason needs to make a tag. Jason's got to get out of this situation. Wait. going to do what he did to Matt Fury. Up goes Chris. Drops him on his head. Going for the pin. One. But Alex Wolf breaks it up again. This is gonna roll over on his stomach. Jason wasn't able to capitalize, and Chris Proudfoot works his way back up. Big DDT. Going for the pin. One, two, no, broken up by Steven Johnson. The pin! One, but Steven Johnson again breaks it up. Oh, the proud foot going. One, two. Chris Proudfoot Your has pinned Jason Spade. Team Canada and Alex Wolf. And team Canada have picked up.
picked up the victory over Steven Johnson, Jason Spade, and Jimmy Starr. And the champions have the momentum going into ultimatum. What a back and forth tag team match that was. What is gonna happen at ultimatum? Who's gonna be the champions? Who's gonna be the tag champions? Who's gonna be the NGCW champion? What a night this was, and what a night we have coming up at Ultimatum. Thank you for joining us here tonight. We hope to see you again real soon at NGCW Ultimatum. Ladies and gentlemen from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, we say good night.